What's going on YouTube? This is the Common Sense Professor and today we're going to be looking at how to create a communication with Serial or RS-232. We're going to be using RS Links Classic for this. If you're looking to create an Ethernet or Ethernet IP connection, be sure and watch my previous video. This is just going to be going over how to create a communication with Serial. So let's start by opening up RS Links Classic. And I went through this a little bit in my first video, but I'll go through some of this again. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be creating a new network to be able to communicate with our PLC. Now I've got a PLC here that's got the older 5550 CPU card. And we're going to be going under, just like we did before, under configure drivers. But with Serial, before we do that, we have to understand which port that we're communicating with. So I'm going to minimize this for just a second. And what you need to do is to start by going in under device manager. And then you look over here under your ports, common LP. When you open that up, you see here that I am connected to COM6 on my USB to serial communication port. So I can close that now, go back to my RS links. Now just like we did before, we go under communication, configure drivers, under available driver type, this time we're going to choose the RS-232 DF1 devices. And we're going to add a new one. We're going to name this, just like we did before, we'll name this serial and then this screen pops up. Okay, so this is where it's just a little different. This is why we looked up the communication port because we have to know which port that we're connected to through our serial. And so we come down here and choose COM6. Uh, and at this point, all we have to do is hit auto configure and it'll tell you down here if it configured successfully. We'll hit OK. And that's it. We've got our serial connection now. Now, and again, just like before, you see the first thing that pops up is my 5550 CPU because I am connected directly to that with my serial port. Now, one thing to understand is you're limited because the newer CPUs only have Ethernet IP. So this is kind of for the older CPUs. But one thing to keep in mind is that these serial connections are a lot slower than Ethernet. But just like we did before, we can expand that. So I'm communicating through my 5550 through serial which then goes to my back plane, which then opens up my entire PLC here. Okay, I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you very much. Have a great day.